this wonderful rhythm of the town and have a look. everywhere lights and archers and a lot of decorations Welcome to Moscow! Especially I want to invite you in Moscow at this time before Christmas, before New Year because it's really fascinating and I see I see already Kremlin walls Oh my dear viewers only the most indolent bloggers haven't still filmed uh, the Christmas decoration of Moscow I hope yeah, um, you have already seen a lot of videos of my colleagues about wonderful, fascinating decoration of Moscow this year. It's twice, no, it's three times or five times uh, better than last year. What are we going to celebrate? Maybe, maybe not only Christmas and New Year, maybe probably victory? Ah. What do you make of that? I remind you that my name is Marina and I invite you to join me um, to walk around Moscow sightseeing. Let's get started! And this is Pushkin Square, very very famous place with its terrific, a well-known theatre of musical. Ah, this is Skating rink, I think. Oh no? Ah no, it's um, just decoration around the fountain. You see, the snow drifts are melting and it's raining now. It's minus one only. A warm winter. And this is Trumne Square of Moscow, my dear viewers. Um, the decoration of this place is, uh, is similar to other Moscow central places. Let's come closer. Um, New Year tree here is uh, so romantic and exquisite. So slippery today. Oh. Happy New Year, Moscow! In Russian style again. Yeah, Matryoshka. And uh, and Russian beer and you see everything is similar to other places but looks very nice and this is Tverskaya street the road goes straight to Kremlin and I remember from my English school program Tverskaya street is the busiest, the longest and the noisiest street of Moscow but it was 35 years ago, now it's not the longest street for sure because Moscow is growing every day but in my opinion it's still the most beautiful street it's drizzling and it's not so comfortable to film a video for you and you see the rain doesn't stop Moscovites uh, from um, walking around our beautiful city and um, uh, you know this girl for sure you know her this is Natasha from Murmansk <laughs> she has arrived right yesterday uh, from the capital of Arctic just to admire the wonderful decorations of Moscow oh thanks God there are very cozy places in Moscow uh, located uh, on Tverskaya Street. Uh, just have a look. It's a small um, cafe and my friend Natasha and our coffee and our Christmas tree cake. 
who just relax after the after the rain. In every corner of Moscow, in every shopping center, you must see a wonderful New Year decoration. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas! <laughs> the stores and shops all around Moscow try their best to decorate before New Year with the, something original. For example, New Year presents! You know that I love Moscow, though I'm Siberian, uh, and I'd like to tell you one secret. Just in several days, I'm going to visit my native land, Siberia, and uh, to see what's going on there um, and how beautiful Siberia is during this wonderful time. Yeah, it's really the noisiest street of Moscow. <laughs> and the main point of our destination today is, of course, market. Christmas market near the Red Square. Natasha, do you like Moscow? Very, very, very much. <laughs> yeah, it's really beautiful. <laughs> and you know, she lives in the capital of Arctic, uh, Murmansk city. Here is, here is uh, the link to my videos about Murmansk. And uh, now uh, there is no sun at all because um, Murmansk is located behind the polar circle. And it's only night and night and night uh, all day round. <laughs> yeah, now it's my turn to film all this beauty. It's uh, Moscow Christmas Fair, um, located right, um, right near the Kremlin. I know myself. Right now I want to buy all the th these things. All these toys and ornaments. And you see decorations are, are typical uh, Russian. And Russian pies, of course, for those who are hungry right now, it's not me. Yeah, you can even try uh, Russian traditional beverages here. For example, Uzvar. Uh, is it Russian? Or oh, from, um, from Asia? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> But you know that uh, Moscow is a multi-international city and uh, Russia is a multicultural uh, country and uh, welcome everybody! A wonderful Christmas tree! Mm. It's sparkling! And I see a woman in traditional dress with traditional scarf. It's great. Wow. <laughs> I'm like in Tsar, Russia. <laughs> Hello. 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 H
Uh, welcome to Russia. <laughs> Thank Russia you. Can you can you play something? <laughs> Just for a minute for our subscribers. Russian traditional music. <laughs> can we sing something? <laughs> I want to dance. <laughs> Do you know what this bala like? Right? Yes. <laughs> and matryoshka. <laughs> yes. Uh, from from where subscribers? From all over the world. Oh. <laughs> Very many people. One million of people uh, are watching my videos on YouTube channel, and I'm very happy to introduce my country, Russia, to them. Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye-bye! Thanks a lot! Have a good time! Ah. They think I'm foreigner, but I'm not foreigner. I'm Russian and I'm proud of being Russian. But sometimes, sometimes it's good to feel uh, mm, yourself someone uh, you are not <laughs> oh great great really i i'm sure the decoration this year is is perfect it's maximum what I what I have ever seen here. And I met a wonderful guy from Libya. <laughs> he's shy a little bit, but he's a tourist here in Moscow. And can you tell me some words? Do you like Moscow? Yes, I like Moscow. Really? Uh, you stay for vacations here? Yeah? Yes. Vacations, holidays? Yes. Okay, what's your name? My name is Ali. Ali, Ali, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Have you a good too. day. Thank Thanks you. a lot. <laughs> ah. You see, Russia is open for for all people. He was really shy, <laughs> and he's my subscriber, my new subscriber now. What am I going to do right now? I'm going to visit a uh, skating rink located uh, exactly on the Red Square, in the middle of Red Square. I think it's going to be gripping for you. And then, and then I would like to eat traditional ice cream together with my friend Natasha. But where is she? I don't know. Traditional ice cream in uh, in the main um, shopping center of Russia. Uh, it's very warm weather today. Uh, it's spitting a little bit, I, uh, but it's warm, really. <laughs> oh, the smell of glue wine. from Bavaria. It's not traditional Russian. Здравствуйте, а у вас немецкая какая-то кухня, да, здесь? Русская, вот это все. Russian cuisine? Mm. Okay, we have sausages in Russian cuisine. It's great. <coughs> Natasha! Natasha! Where are you? <laughs> mm -hmm. And another part of uh, Christmas fair. Thanks God, it's not a weekend time now. I can't imagine the quantity of people during the weekend uh, black miss corner again traditional russian um, what are they doing 
А что вы такое делаете красивое? Я вилочку одно зубы делаю. О, -о, -о, -о. А вилочку чтобы есть? В том числе. А, -а, -а. he is creating a fork to eat. Средневековый мультитул. А, а это же русская тоже традиционная такая вилочка, да? Нет? Она по всему миру встречается. А. It's not only traditional Russian. Oh, it's so beautiful everywhere. Oh. Let's go further. I have to find my friend. Oh, guys, it's to my liking. It helps to create holiday mood. <sighs> and please write down your life hacks. Uh, how do you create your Christmas mood? And traditional Russian heroes. Grandfather Frost and his granddaughter Snegurochka <laughs> and Russian kids. <laughs> We uh, can't imagine uh, New Year without this uh, wonderful uh, historical heroes. Ah, and I see uh, the historical museum. It faces to Red Square. I can't stop filming because everything is exciting and it's just awesome in every corner you can find something very special and handmade a lot of handmade things and what a smell my mouth is watering though I'm not hungry at all what's here what's here I don't see I see only a wonderful samovar and this is leg barbecue <laughs> <Wow. laughs> uh. this is pork pork's leg the price for 100 grams is 350 rubles don't tell me that you are not interested in prices I know that you are interested every time in in How much does it cost? And again, traditional Russian cuisine. Uh, potatoes in bacon in Tsar style. <laughs> Здравствуйте, а это такие бутербродики у вас, да? Можно сниму? And have you ever seen such sand sandwiches with the uh, pickle pickles, uh, fat and onion? I think it's it's really very nice. It's it's, it's the best snack for vodka. <laughs> This is endless fare. And it's so nice. The name of this fair is Merchants Moscow. Yeah, every time in my videos I tell you that Russians try to keep the traditions. It's true. Our families are traditional families. One man, one woman, and uh, two or three kids. Sometimes one kid. Not one man plus one man. Never. <laughs> oh my God. All the Christmas trees are masterpieces. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't see them. Yeah, and it's handmade um, ornaments. 
for your Christmas tree. Yeah, this is the end. Or it's just the beginning. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> A lot of food and now oh, what's here? Pelmini. Pelmans. Uh, what's price for Pelmans? Oh, Pelmans with different kinds of fish. You see, pink salmon, trout, pike, and um, cheer, muksun, handmade fish dumplings. Dumplings means pelmeni. Yeah, you see prices for 200 grams. Uh, about three dollars. So I want to remind you today's rate of exchange. One dollar is approximately 90 rubles. So divide all prices by 90. And, and, and again in Russian. Russian pies, and they know what this. I the petushki, da? Можно сниму? Ah, just have a look. It's traditional Russian candy, um, sweet uh, cockerel. I didn't have a plan to make the review of this fair um, in detail, but um, the process uh, involved me. <laughs> I'm really so happy. I feel like like I'm a child. There's so many smiling people. Everybody likes this uh, time of the year. Who can tell me? Who can write me now that Russia is a third uh, world country? And again, traditional dress. Yeah. Здравствуйте. Какой у вас красивый костюм и у вас? Да, да, да. А с вами не виделись еще. А что у вас за костюм? I'm talking about costumes. Ah, it's the costume of the of the beginning of 20th century. Mm -hmm. Great. Спасибо. Hat maker, yes. Спасибо. Would you like to talk to Grandfather Frost and Snegurochka and make some wishes? Дедушка Мороз, Снегурочка, можно вас спросить? Can I ask you something? Uh, можете что-нибудь пожелать нашим международной публике? Oh, Can you course. wish something? Of course, of course. Oh yes, they speak English. Yes, yes. Uh, hello, my friends. I'm Father Frost, and here's my granddaughter, Snow Maiden. Ah, great, very great. We great. wish you best luck. Wish you good health. We wish you uh, fulfillment of every your dream. Uh, Great. <laughs> so, happy new year. Happy new year. So good. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I want to follow them. <laughs> Don't you think they are wonderful? <laughs> I am really amazed. I'm blown down. They speak English. And and what I see traditional Russian stove. Mm. You know the name of this house. This is Izba. Uh, with chimney. A real chimney, yeah. А вы что-нибудь здесь готовите? Печки, да? Калачи? Вот эти, да? They cook in this traditional Russian stove this kalach. Kalach is a um, kind of traditional uh, Russian bread. I see a lot of uh, firewoods. The, the price of uh, one Moscow kalach is 250 rubles. 
my friend Natasha called me back finally. Uh, she's waiting for me. Standing on the zero kilometer. It's located just near the gates to the Red Square. I will show you right now. Stay with me. I see, I see zero kilometer. Uh, we are all Russian roads start. But I don't see <laughs> Natasha from Murmansk. Uh, and Red Square is full of lights. Oh my god, I see you hurt. <laughs> I'm utterly flabbergasted. How, how could we lost? <laughs> Let's go and find out where is the skating rink. Пойдем посмотрим, где катаются на коньках. Have you seen my video about Red Square? Here is the link. I filmed it uh, for you last year together with my friend Tanya. And uh, this is one of the Uh, most beautiful churches in Moscow, in my opinion, of course. And um, this shopping center attracts me all the time, always, because of its historical ice cream. <laughs> And today we have a chance to uh, to eat it again, but only after after exploring the skating rink. And again, fair. <laughs> And all of you know this street, Natasha. Ты знаешь, какая это улица? This is Nikolskaya Street, um, the most famous street of uh, FIFA 218. FIFA 2018, чемпионат мира по футболу. Yeah, football championship. The main street of football championship. A hot corn. A pancakes and and pies from Ossetia. It's a Caucasus region, very famous with its pies. And can you hear Russian songs? It smells so nice there. I want to buy it, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting for ice cream. Ice cream time will come soon. <laughs> uh, this is the price list for skating. You see, the average price is 500 rubles. But if you want to spend um, New Year night here, it costs. 12,000 rubles, 130 dollars, just to skate during New Year night. Natasha wanted to skate a little bit here, but I see a long, long queue. Ah, to the skating rink, oh my god. I think it's time to visit this main shopping center and eat ice cream. I don't want to stand there in line here. It's really the heart of Moscow and the heart of Russia. Uh, in my opinion, it's the most beautiful and attractive places in, in Russia, Red Square. <sighs> How can I have a look at this skating rink? I wonder. I think I have no chance to do it right now. Tell me the truth, my dear viewers. Would you like to join me uh, in celebrating Christmas and New Year in Moscow? It's really very, very funny. It's very, very tasty. Look! 
a lot of fresh and traditional music. <laughs> I know, I know, my dear viewers, my dear Catholic foreign viewers, that you celebrate uh, Christmas these days, and I want to say you Merry Christmas and the best wishes and our kisses to you and to your families. Stay with me. I appreciate your attention so much. And um, let's go on. Oh, kebab. You know that we are eat meters because it's very cold. We live in a cold climate. Waffles from Hong Kong. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Uh, finally, I see the green hat of my friend Natasha. She's doing what? She's choosing a bell because she collects bells. Hmm, great. Handmade? Wow. This is my handmade. How much? How much? Your handmade? You are the author. We are after. Yes. Great. <laughs> I love this rabbit. <laughs> really, it's time of miracles. <laughs> you are a great creator. Um, yeah, the price, uh, the average price is 1,500 rubles for for one bell. <laughs> oh, would you like to buy a mosquito? <laughs> oh yes, it's fantastic for all ages, for all people, for all nationalities. Uh, you see happy faces. And let me introduce you one more Russian uh, fairy tale hero. Uh, and it's like a dragon with uh, uh, three heads. You see? <laughs> one body and three heads. It's very popular among our kids. <laughs> Looks wonderful. And if you buy this mosquito, it will save you from real mosquitoes. I'm totally gobsmacked, my dear viewers, and uh, I think I can spend here the whole day, give or take. Um, truth be told, uh, first of all, I was feigning that I don't want to film this uh, uh, primitive video about just decorations, because everybody f have, has already filmed it, but now... I'm really shocked and I'm so happy that I'm here and I can share this holiday mood with you. And now it's time for historical ice cream. Stay with me. Hmm? It is not so easy. It's really very difficult not to buy anything on the way to ice cream because I see again um, Russian traditional stove. No, it's like it is. Oh my gosh, what a samovar! Oh, it's it's so big, so tall. I forgot all the words. <laughs> Russian samovar. It 
looks exotic together with the Spasky Tower of the Kremlin. And the price for a cup of tea with uh, jam, you see, 250 rubles. Yeah, looks impressive. <laughs> Frankly speaking, everything looks impressive here. Even these complicated candies. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I, oh, Natasha, <laughs> nice to see you. Glintwich? Alcohol. Okay. <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs> ah, you're freezing. <laughs> okay. And um, Saint Basil's Cathedral. As for me, it's the most beautiful cathedral in the world. It's true. And I'm looking forward to visiting and admiring its um, interiors. I think I'll find one hour in my life to do it. And now it's time for the main shopping center of the whole Russia. Natasha, let's go. And now I am inside my favorite historical shopping center in the center of Moscow and here is the festival of uh, Christmas trees <laughs> and can you hear uh, the music um, by uh, our great Russian composer Tchaikovsky it, this is the music from ballet the Nutcracker Natasha again. I see already the customers with uh, my ice cream I was dreaming about. It is so beautiful. Everything. Uh, Moscow is, of course, Moscow is a um, like separate country. But you may be sure the whole Russia is beautiful, um, and I'm going to convince you because um, because I want to visit Siberia. I mentioned before. Wow! What a wonderful Christmas tree just in the center of this shopping mall with a great deal of ornaments and uh, mm -hmm. oh, have a look oh, so wonderful oh my god every bow is a masterpiece just have a look I am amazed. Such a wonderful ornaments for your Christmas tree. You can buy all this. Wow. Oh, would you like to buy a bicycle for present? I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride it well. Where is my ice cream? I promised Natasha to buy historical ice cream for her. Oh, yes! Yes! And no cure! That's great! 
because every time I visit this shopping mall, there is a long, long queue here of people buying historical ice cream. It's priced 100 rubles. And have a look, it's really traditional. But again, I don't see my friend. She's somewhere in space. Oh, I want to show you. <laughs> the seller is busy. She's taking ice cream right now. We have to wait for five minutes. Like in Soviet time. Natasha, no, one is for you. It's cream brulee, and for me, it's black currant. Yet, I'm ready to pay. Now we are the happiest girls in the world. Mm. I feel the taste of black currant. And another thing that I want to show you and Natasha is historical toilet for 200 rubles. Let's go. You see? You see historical toilet. Three languages, Russian, English and Chinese. I'm sure Natasha will be blown away right now. Let's go. It's really one of the most beautiful toilets in the world. Natasha, I am waiting for you. I want to see your emotions. Хочу твои эмоции увидеть. Дальше, дальше. Ladies room. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> The most uh, amazing thing here is price. <laughs> price for toilet. So, and <laughs> I'm waiting for your emotions. <laughs> Nukak. Yeah, 200 rubles. Oh, Natasha has a ticket. <laughs> yeah, sometimes in Russia it happens. Golden um, faucets and um, golden mirrors and um, individual napkins and uh, golden toilets. Uh, I think so. <laughs> yeah. I want to show you a little bit. Yes, that's it. I'm waiting for you downstairs. This is Italian marble. Wine colors and man's restroom is made of uh, blue Italian marble. Natasha, I see you in the mirror. And this is the exit to Nikolska Street. Ah, so many people again. And so many lights. And Kremlin Towers. I show you life as it is. Right here, right now. At first, I had an idea to uh, film a short video for you, just 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, but no, it's more than 40 minutes already of New Year Moscow. Uh, I hope it was gripping for you to watch this wonderful video and it helps you to create a New Year and Christmas mood and here is the link to my favorite videos about Moscow underground. <laughs>